Hello, I'm Dr. Simon Kung. I'm a psychiatrist at the Mayo Clinic Rochester. I'm an assistant professor of psychiatry and psychology here. I'm here to talk about our paper in the Mayo Clinic Proceedings. It's a systematic review of the treatment of nightmares with prazosin. My colleagues and I were interested in looking at the details of these studies. In clinical practice, we frequently encounter patients with nightmares, and these are are uh, not easy to treat, especially patients who have tra trauma nightmares. We think these are, are a particular subset of nightmares, and especially we see them in patients with post-traumatic stress disorder. So patients who have had uh, trauma, and these nightmares are very disturbing. They recreate the trauma, the stress. They, they cause the patient to wake up, the heart's beating fast, difficulty breathing, sweating. So a, a big adrenaline storm with these nightmares. The good news is that there has been some literature published on the use of a medication called prazosin for the treatment of these trauma nightmares, and this has been used for about 15 years. The idea is that prazosin is an alpha-1 adrenergic antagonist, so this medication gets into the brain and slows down the adrenergic activity, and the theory is that nightmares and all of the adrenaline storm are related to the heightened adrenergic activity. This uh, treatment using prazosin has been published enough that there is evidence and the American Academy of Sleep Medicine uh, and also the VA Department of Defense has listed prazosin as a level A or level B uh, le uh, treatment recommendation for trauma nightmares. What we did in our systematic review was we took a closer look at all of these studies. We wanted to find studies that included any kind of prazosin or placebo uh, or treatment, open label treatment of, of uh, using prazosin, and there had to be some outcomes. They had, these studies had to measure the severity or frequency of nightmares. What we found, and we searched all the way through until March 2012, was we found 12 studies that met our criteria. Four studies were randomized controlled trials, and there were four studies which were open label case series, and there were another four studies uh, which were retrospective chart reviews. So of, of these 12 studies, they were all overwhelmingly positive. So of the four randomized controlled trials, the earlier three said yes, definitely prazosin decreases these trauma nightmares. One of the newer studies said it didn't decrease the nightmares, but there were some reasons stated as well. And the remainder of the open label and the case reviews uh, were also positive. More than half of the patients that were tried on prazosin got better. There were reports that when patients went off of prazosin, the nightmares came back, and when they were put back on prazosin, the nightmares disappeared again. The details of the different patient populations, their ages, the doses, you can find all of these in the article, and the, uh, the dose range really goes from one milligram, sometimes all the way up to 16 milligrams for effective treatment, and it's been used in patients as old as in their 80s, and there's been one case report of a patient age seven who was successfully treated with prazosin. So overall, this is good news because now clinicians have another medication that they can use for, for nightmares, um, good news for patients as well. There certainly can be more research done to find out whether prazosin might help with nightmares that are not trauma-related nightmares. Um, and in the next two years, there are, there are two very large studies of prazosin um, in the veteran population and also active soldier population that will really help inform us again. Of the 12 studies that we looked at, the only limitation that could be said is that the sample sizes were small. So of the 12 studies, there were only 259 patients altogether that were included in, in these studies. The two new studies upcoming expected to be finished in the next year or two that are done at the VA in Puget Sound, uh, these will involve, one of them involves about 300 plus patients and another is 200 plus patients. So it'd be very interesting to see what these upcoming uh, research shows. The, the uh, important points to remember is that there is a medication, prazosin, which is effective for the treatment of trauma-related nightmares, 
the evidence base is small, a total of 259 patients out of these 12 studies, but it's also very positive that patients really did get better with this. There are very few side effects of prazosin, transient dizziness, low blood pressure. Most patients tolerate this very well. So I think this is, would be a, a, um, a good medication to try in patients with trauma nightmares. There's also other forms of treatment of these nightmares, such as psychological treatments. So those are other possibilities. Thank you. We hope you benefited from this presentation based on the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you're interested in more information about Mayo Clinic Proceedings, visit our website at www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find additional videos on our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Twitter. For more information on healthcare at Mayo Clinic, please visit www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.